Hello everyone, it's about Faber 6710 Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another model modification series episode 15 So you have another good episode um, today for you guys um, As you see by the thumbnail and title <coughs> we're doing We're making a Massey Ferguson 6480 tier 3 uh, to a tier 2 so uh, For you Massey fans you might know what I'm talking about But uh, to people might not be familiar with tier two or tier three. I'm going to show you what it is in a in a second, and I'll uh, show a few photos as well. So uh, yeah, guys, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So as you seen there, you seen a, a few real life images of the tier two and tier three. So here is the tier three. It's a, kind of looks a bit more newer than the tier two. The tier 2 has this type of bonnet here, and it has um, a box here, so if you recognise, um, or if any of you watch I Farm We Farm, he um, used to have um, <coughs> a 6480, well it was a 6470, but kind of the same tractor really, um, just a bigger engine or same wheelbase, so it's going to be kind of like that, so um, kindly... Um, Austin model farmer and his brother um, Clark sent down this bonnet to me so I'd like to thank them a lot um, to watch the video so yeah the guys thanks for watching it uh, thanks for sending this down so uh, it's gonna be very useful for this conversion so it is so really guys um, this is a Britain 6480 it's been used a uh, really it's been used a good bit in the, in the past few of my series and I think I've really overused it, so I think I'm, I want to convert it into a tier tier two. And you see a good few tier twos around my area, so I said, why not give it a try? So it's quite obvious here that I'm going to need to extend the bonnet a bit now, uh, a good fifteen mil or ten mil at least. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, and uh, for you guys wondering, this bonnet is off a uh, Siku Massey Ferguson 50, 5455. So, if you're looking to do it, that's the bonnet I'm using anyway. And yeah, I'm going to see how it goes, guys. Um, I've seen a few people do this before. Not many people, though. I've seen them use um, a Universal Hobbies Massey Ferguson 7499 or a 6470 or, or 6475, uh, which a bit more detailed than the Britons model I have here but still this nothing wrong with this Britain's model everything's quite nice about it the cab is lovely tires and mud guards and everything's nothing wrong with it so uh only thing I think is the the massy red is a bit off on it. I have some genuine tractor red here that I got from my local um, machinery dealer and I got some grey primer as well so hopefully it'll work out well guys. So um first job I'm going to have to take off the bonnet, which I don't really know, I'm going to investigate, um, I, this tractor did have loader brackets on it, so I took them off, um, there was a pin going through the centre there, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys um, how I'm going to take off the bonnet and I'll see how I get on. So I figured out how to take off the bonnet of the tractor, um, so uh, yeah, it was handy enough I suppose until you when you see how how it's done but um starting at the front of the tractor I, I have a flathead screwdriver here so um I put it in I kind of lifted it up a bit and um I kind of you know squeezed it a bit I obviously put it back on uh, to show you guys but it's, it's kind of hold on by these two pins here so uh yeah and quite happy it didn't break so um yeah that was quite simple enough quite happy with that so next things for next thing is to convert this bonnet and uh, lengthen it a bit more so i'm going to show you how to do that i'm going to be using eyes upon and get a bit of metal so yeah so guys i'm getting on quite well with the bonnet uh, there was like these uh, it's a bit sticking out so the bonnet wasn't really sitting that well so um have it sitting quite well at the moment so 
the only thing I need to do is there's probably roughly about just about under 10 mil there that I need to you know um, extend so what I'm gonna do is if I just get a piece of metal here I'm gonna get a piece of metal form it over and then over the piece of metal I'm gonna get a bit of eyes upon which is basically filler um, for those who don't know um, car filler fill in spots and like that we use the to fill in a few pits in the tractor uh, so yeah um, quite handy stuff and uh, then I'll sand it down and then we'll be nearly ready for paint uh, you might already tell that this red is quite different to this red I have some uh, massy red here so it's a uh, quite a bright one it says on the tin it's um super yeah massy super red so quite bright which will, should give a nice shiny new look which I hope so yeah guys it's working out really well better than I thought and yeah I'm gonna get gonna get straight into it with um folding the bonnet extending the bonnet so yeah I'll update you right guys have my extension part of it fitted anyway um, let me focus on it so it's not the neatest job but as I said there'll be eyes upon going over it and I'll be sanding it down so it'll make a nice clean job of it um, it fits nicely enough down onto it and uh, there's a bit here that I had to um, cut out just have a look um, So yeah, as you see, there's a bit there I had to cut out because of the exhaust. So I'll just cut that bit out there. And uh, yeah, it looks, doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna put the eyes upon on now. So I uh, have it here. Eyes upon P38 is what I'm using. So not sure if that'll make a difference or not, but I'm gonna get start mixing it. Um, I'm not quite new to eyes upon. Um, when I was doing the fixing the cab on the 6420 I used eyes upon and my dad just showed me how to use it because he's quite good at it because he used it with the tractor but uh, yeah I'm gonna start into it and I might film a bit of, a bit of the eyes upon so we have the eyes upon on now guys and um, so what I done was if I just get this out here I didn't actually film me myself putting it on because um, my hands are quite sticky you see so um so yeah um this is the actual filler stuff but then they come with these little hardener packets um so i just scooped a bit into the little mixing bowl and i put a bit of hardener in with it mixed it really finely make sure it's all mixed well together and i layered it on so don't be afraid to put on enough don't be afraid to put on um, more than you need because you can always sand it down. You so like don't um, don't be short of it anyway. Like so, I have way more than enough there. And then what I'll do is it's not dry. It'll probably take suppose another twenty minutes to dry. Then I'll sand it down. Um, sand it down in line with the the massy bonnet here. So in line with the surface, and it should make a good job. And hopefully. Fingers crossed, it goes well. I'll keep you updated, guys. Right, guys, I have the bonnet fully extended now, and I think it's ready for a lick of primer, so it is. Now, this isn't the proper position where the bonnet is going to be. I think I'm going to glue it a few millimeter rise above. So, like, about there. It'll look just right like that. Don't really like the slope on the bonnet like it is there, so... We'll have to do it like that there, so uh, yeah. Um, yeah, very happy with it, guys, and just a closer up. I have everything sanded down and stuff. Uh, there's a few cracks there, but hope the paint will fill that in. And uh, on the other side there, I had to cut our little groove in uh, for the exhaust. And yeah, I'll be taking off the the front here when I'm painting it as the front is, is in relatively good condition don't really need to touch it so just the bonnet really and uh, yeah um, I might do a little video on priming it and painting it because I haven't done 
uh, a paint a vid a paint a little video in a while so yeah let's get painting There it is guys, simple as that. We are now doing the red coat, Massey Ferguson Super Red. So yeah, Massey Super Red. Give it a good shake. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see how it dries. So as you see guys, I'm after spraying up the bonnet and now I have the bonnet on. So it's uh, been a, a good while now since I done anything or ha since I updated yours, but yours will be only a second. But yeah, um, I've also resprayed the back arches or the back fenders of the tractor. Um, and I had a bit of a problem with the paint. It wasn't the red, um, massy paint, the super red. It was actually, um, how will I say this? I suppose the the grey primer didn't really give a good effect on the on the. It didn't really give the red paint a good chance to, uh, get bring that super bright effect. So I was lucky enough. I had a bit of massy uh, red, uh, two pack paint, and I brushed it on. So. Uh, I kind of repainted it so I did and that's kind of why it's a bit brighter whereas if I left it with the way I had, had it with the spray paint it would have been a, a bit more you know uh, dark wouldn't it have that bright brighter effect but yeah I have the bonnet on now guys and looks quite well if I just bring her back a bit looks really well um, I'm going to be putting on the decals there now and you may also notice I added a, um, a weight I'm going to need to move the left to the bit but I, it's an old John Deere weight I got and um, I just sprayed it grey so it doesn't look the worst to be honest it's better than no weight and then yeah I'm going to add the decals now and yeah should look good um, I think I already said this but I'll say it again and it's going to be a 6490 it's going to be a massive 6490 as um, I don't think it'll suit to be a 6480 it's going to be it looks too big to be a 6480 um, it looks a bit too high up especially if the if this is fr coming from a tier 3 down to a tier 2 so I just think it's too big to be a 6480 so it's gonna be a 6490 so uh, he, he's probably uh, he was all probably confused why the title is um, changing a 6480 to a 6490 rather than a 6480 tier 3 to a tier 2 but anyway guys I'm going to put on the decals and updates so guys here we are we have the decals 
finished complete on the Massey Ferguson 6490. Uh, as you know there, I after said uh, there's a change in with the model number, so it was going to be a 6480 until I realised that it was it'd be a bit too big to be a 6480. So I think if you wanted to do a 6480, use a 5470 by you versus the hobbies or a 5480. Um, I've seen a few other lads like um. Hillscale models, he done a nice one of a 6480, so yeah, um, I'm missing one thing, I'm missing the, the air filter box for the top here, but that's about it, I'm gonna get some lad to 3D print it, um, I could attempt making one myself, but I don't think I do a good job on it, um, as it kind of, it's kind of like a curve, curved box, and, but yeah, a few flashing lights won't go astray either, but other than that, I'm quite happy with her. Uh, the decals are on. Uh, a few of you have asked how I do my decals. I just print them out on a Word document and I size them, size them on Word. So doesn't d look too bad to be honest. And quite happy with her. So yeah, I'd like to thank Austin Model Farmer for and Clark his brother for sending on the bonnet for me. And check out their TikTok. They have a nice TikTok channel going on. So yeah, that's about it for today's video, guys. And hope you enjoyed. So hope you enjoyed the video today guys, it was a good one with the uh, Massey Ferguson 6490 and maybe if you want to do this as well you can um, just follow the few instructions and you may be on your way to doing a model like this here. So um, quite simple enough if you know what you're doing with the isopod and the filler and stuff like that but the main part was extending the bonnet of course. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it guys, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, I'm willing to answer you. So thanks for watching guys, and make sure to hit the like button, and see you again in the next video.